Hey guys, Andrew Shroud. I'm here on the sideboard. I'm sitting with Logan Mize and Stephen Mann, two of Florida's finest. Uh, and you guys have traveled all the way from one corner of the country to, to the other to uh, hopefully lock up a slot in uh, the Players' Championship this yes. year. So since you're here, uh, I decided we need to pick your brains with some quick questions. Sure. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first question, we're going to start with some standard questions since all that's right. what we're playing first. Uh, what deck are you guys playing? What are you playing and why? Logan? I'm, I'm playing Red Green Aggro. It's yeah. not quite Monsters. It doesn't have a main deck called Kronos or Phil and Karyatid. It has Fanatic as Enigos, uh, Rabble Masters, Boon Satyrs, uh, Ash Cloud Phoenix, stuff like that, but okay. aggressive. All right. Steven, what's up? Um, I'm playing Glenn Jones deck from last weekend, the Abzan Whip deck, uh, mostly because I'm a sellout and uh, <laughs> All right. I couldn't decide on a deck for myself. And the deck looked good. You, yeah. you could sell out worse than that. Uh, <laughs> next question, what do, you th what do you guys think is the best home for Goblin Rabble Master in this format? All right, well, I'd have to say my deck. Sure. I have okay. Elvish Mystic, and I can go turn two on the play, Rabble Master. Okay. Basically, no one can beat that. The best Rabble Master free win, essentially. is the one that shows so, up earliest. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, That's my enough. opinion. Yeah. All right. Um, I disagree. I kind of think, like, if, if you're going to, like, your Rattle Master is probably going to die, so like you need to make the tokens pretty good um, after he dies. Okay. So like Jeskai Ascendancy or like Titan Strength or something is probably the way to go with that. All right. Okay, and then the next question, uh, what is the best way to beat a Whip of Erebus deck? Uh, probably early pressure. All so right. that they're, you know, they forced to play it out turn four or five or whatever. Okay. And then, you know, Disenchant effect, uh, destructive revelry, or unravel the aether, and then just continue applying pressure so that they don't have a chance to gain the life All right. or activate it. Okay. So beats and removal, reasonable yeah. plan. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of playing uh, removal spells that will hit creatures and artifacts or enchantments. Uh, things like utter end, banishing light, things like that. Okay. Um, I was playing a bunch of uh, soul tide charms in my uh, soul tide reanimator deck for that reason, like. Uh, it's a great card, uh, and it kills the whip, which is like the most important card right. in the matchup. Just, just make sure whatever removal spell you have is going to have a good target. Yeah, like naturalizes are pretty bad, obviously, but like if it'll hit a creature and that card, then okay. that's why destructive good. revelry destroys. You know, whip or courser, whip or doomwake giant. Sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, and then the last question about standard: Is standard solved? It doesn't seem to be. Every okay. week, Brad Nelson comes up with a different deck. So. All right. Yeah, I agree. Um, if you guys could see my uh, my uh, list of decks on Moto, like I'm just I, I'm going off the wall, and like <laughs> there are so many so many decks that that I haven't explored yet, and like it's going to take months to get to all of them. Okay, so. fair enough. So it's definitely plenty of room to brew then left yeah, over. Yeah. All right, uh, let's move on. Move on to Legacy. So. Uh, but first legacy question, basically the same as the first standard question. What are you playing uh, and why? Blue Red Omnitel. Okay. I've moved from Cunning Wish to Burning Wish. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. I've been playing it for over a year, I think, okay. now. So. A little different look, yeah. but, but same yeah, basic Yeah, I'm stubborn. I'm not changing. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty stubborn, too. I'm just going to play a Delver deck. <laughs> All right. uh, did pretty well with it last weekend. And honestly, like, I'm pretty bad at magic, and I don't know how to play any other legacy decks. <laughs> All right, it's just Del Delver or bust. Huh? Yeah. I know you, you've kind of dabbled in different Delver decks. So are we teamer like last week? Or? Uh, yeah. Okay. Teamer, if you want to call it that. R rug teamer. <laughs> we, yeah. we don't. We're, we're teamering. Okay. Uh, all right. The next question, what is the best combo deck in Legacy? Um, again, like, I would like to say my deck because, you know, otherwise I'd just be playing a different combo deck. But I don't know. Uh, definitely probably something with show and tell. Okay. Something with show and tell. Uh, I'm not sure, but... Um, I think I think the uh, ad nauseum decks are pretty good because like on turn one you can stop them from killing you on turn two with a discard spell or whatever, right. and also like clear the way for your combo and like your combo is pretty fast as I as I understand it. Uh, but I'm not I'm not really people are too... running less uh, spell pierces too. So that's why the storm deck seems better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just the one that gets to play discard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So the, the flip side of that then, what's the best fair deck in Legacy? Uh, probably I don't need Delver deck. Um, like, uh, uh, blue, blue, red, or rug. I don't know. Like, just, I, I didn't think rug was playable after Treasure Cruise, but Span's been doing well with it lately. Okay, so, like, fair. maybe you don't have to play Treasure Cruise in your Delver deck. 
So I don't know. But a Delver. Just, just a Delver um, yeah, deck so of some I'm variety. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, this man, he, sa he says rug. Do you say rug? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you consider Miracles a, a fair deck? Miracles is like a hyper fair deck. I don't know. It like goes so far past the fair yeah, yeah, spectrum, yeah. it goes all the way out the other it's side. And it's unfair almost again. unfair. Uh, so I think I do consider it fair, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Miracles is pretty busted. Like it does unfair things, uh, but in in a fair way. Um, right. So I'm probably gonna say Miracles, but I'll never play that deck because <laughs> I just can't stand Sensei's Divining Top. Like I'll never activate it. I'm actually in the exact same camp. It, yeah. just, it seems so <laughs> tedious to have to use a return. But, but certainly the deck is powerful, so it's a reasonable answer. Uh, the next question, I asked this actually to uh, some people at GP New Jersey, and we got a, a different answer out of everyone I asked, so I wanted to run it back here. If you could ban or unban one card in Legacy, what would it be and why? Uh, I think you could probably get away with unbanning Mind Twist. Sure. Like, you know, you could just Spell Piercer, daze it. There's like a million ways to get around mm -hmm. it. It doesn't seem that powerful. Um, there might be a deck that can abuse it, but I, I don't know. Like every article that comes out, like you know, cards you can ban and unban in Legacy, like that's generally on the list, and I, I agree with them. Okay. Um, and then as far as banning, um, I guess it would be interesting if you ban Brainstorm for like a six-month period just to see, like just as All a right. test, just to Fair. see what would happen. Okay. I but actually, I, like it. I actually didn't even know that Mind Twist was banned. That's how bad I think that card <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I I would definitely ban Sensei's Divining Top, not because like it's extremely good or anything, but it's just annoying. Uh, it takes forever, um, and I I don't really know what to unban. The question was ban or unban, so okay. you, you can just stick with the one answer. I'll ban that artifact. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and then final question: If you win this Invitational, you'll get to make a token with your likeness on it. What token do you want to be? Uh, I would choose an angel token. Okay. It has applications in modern legacy. You sure. have to treat the angels for legacy miracles and okay. a bunch of decks with Geist of St. Traft and modern that play it. So. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm not really sure if this works, but I would really like to make a Valka trigger token. Okay. That'd be pretty sweet to just toss a bunch of cards <laughs> at my opponent as he's taking three at a time. Yeah. So. Just cast Scape Shift and put, put seven of your face yeah. onto the table? Yes, <laughs> yes. That's actually a pretty good plan. Uh, I like that. All right, uh, we're going to wrap this up with uh, a little bit of word association. All so right. I'm going to say a word, and then you guys are just going to fire off the first word that comes to your mind. All right. All right, so the first word. going to be bad at this. Invitational. Uh, champion. Can I win it? <laughs> Can I win it? <laughs> One word. <laughs> that, that's no, fine. Win. That's an acceptable answer. You can't be bad at this. You can only be slow at this. All right. All right, next word. Rhino. Siege. Big. Okay. Jeskai. Tempo. Attack. Whip. Erebus. Life. Elves. Uh, Ross Marion. Okay. Tinker. Tinker? Tinker. <laughs> okay. Just keep rolling. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Jace. Uh, mind sculptor. That's sure. one word? Yeah, yeah. Mind, right. mind sculptor. I, I never yeah. remember. Yeah, slur it right. together. You're good. Uh, unfair. Sure, sure is. Bolt. Bird. Inexpensive. Okay. Storm. Combo. Uh, good. All right. I like going first. And the, and the, and the last one? <laughs> Logan Mize. Me. Him. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Thanks for sitting down with me, guys. Yep, thanks. thanks. Stick around. We've got plenty more coverage coming of the Invitational here in Seattle.